Let's take a quick tour of the Go Open Michigan website. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to goopenmichigan.org. It's going to place me on the landing page. One of the first things you're going to notice is an area to search. And I'm just going to simply search for the term algorithm. And I can add in subject, education level, or standard, but right now I'm just going to search for algorithm. And it's going to bring up uh, various lessons or resources that have to do with algorithms. If you'd like to view a, a resource, you're going to click on the resource. And it's going to tell you a little bit about it, especially like the Creative Commons licensing. This is like a descriptor page. And you can look at the standards, um, if people have evaluated it or tagged it, even comments. And if you actually want to um, view the source, you can click here. You can save it also to your resources so that you can access it quicker. But if you want to view the resource, you're going to see it right here. Um, notice easy um, implementation in Google Classroom if you want to share with your students. And you have a few other options up here. Now, to get back to the main landing page, up in the left-hand corner, you're going to click on Go Open Michigan. If you'd like to do a little bit more advanced search, that is available right here as well. I'm going to scroll down and show you that there are some collections available. These are curated collections uh, that we have found. They're Michigan-based for the most part. Some of them are not, but they're of high quality. I'm just going to scroll through here, like the Michigan Open Books are available in here, 21 Things for Students. Um, you can search through that. I am going to click back to the landing page. There are textbooks available and full courses. If I go back to the landing page, um, there are also some lessons and activities if you'd like to check that out. There is also the possibility of joining a group sort of connecting with other educators. And if you click on that, it's going to show you various groups that are available. Some of them are like school districts. Um, other are like the Wayne Risa. Um, we have some various groups here. Minecraft has a group. Um, this is a great place to connect your group and that you can share resources within the Go Open Michigan. And if I go back to the landing page again, I'm going to scroll back down. I was just doing connecting. I can also create content within the Go Open Michigan platform. And if you want to, you can start authoring now. Uh, the resource builder for creating media rich resources. Um, moving on, you could do a lesson builder or even a module builder. Uh, just navigating up to the top here to show you, there's a discover. Um, again, some of this was already on the landing page, but there you can look at the resources, collections, you can even see who the providers are. One thing I haven't mentioned is there are some hubs, and I'm going to go ahead and scroll over here, see all hubs. This is one of the newer spots and we're growing it. Um, the MyTex is going to have a hub and house some information in here. We have the Michigan Open Book Project, if you click on that. It brings you to uh, the Michigan Open Book Project in the books. Going back up to the top, the groups we've already seen, this is another place where you can access that and you can click on see all groups if you wanna see that. If you go to learn more, you can learn more about Go Open. There is a help center available. Up here is the create. Uh, we referenced that earlier. If you go back to that landing page, um, the different builders, and then you can also submit, recommend a resource from the web. To be able to do like the resource builder, the groups and the hubs, you do need to sign in and register with the Go Open Michigan. And to the top right, there is a search feature just directly from here. There is the Go Open Toolkit as well on the landing page. If you click on that button, it's actually going to put you to a REMC resource. Remsey has created this website that allows you to get some help getting started using OER resources. Or if you're already using them and you need some professional learning resources, 
this is another place that you can go. If you want to go back to the Michigan uh, microsite, puts you back here. So hopefully you know a little bit more about navigating through the Go Open Michigan website. If you still have some questions or want to learn a little bit more, remember you can go to the Learn More. There's the About Go Open or the Help Center.